What's the best way to create split screens in the virtual sofa? As I always say, there's many ways of doing things. One of them is that you can use the cropping tool right here and then make sure that you turn on the cropping viewer right here and then use these to create and crop your element and then bring these to one side. Do the same for the other side. We can just copy and paste the, let's just copy and paste everything and then move that to the other side and make sure that we cover that screen. Now, the issue with this method is that you need to play around a little bit with the values of this cropping right here so that you are cropping the exact amount that you want and so that they are fitting exactly just 50% on one side, 50% on the other. That just becomes a little bit complicated and tedious sometimes. Now, let me show you a better way of doing this. After you have your clip set up, you can right click and then turn this into a fusion clip. If you want, you can go right here to file and then rename these. Then you go all the way to the effects tab right here, find Suave and go down to Suave split screens demo. Now, if you don't have the split screen toolkit, you can download this demo, which has a ton of split screens already, like a bunch of them. I don't know how many I've put in there. And then after you download the first batch, you will get an email with like an updated version that has a few more. So let's just do this. Uh, we have these two split screens right here that we have in the stills version right here. So you can just put these right here. Now you have split screens in just a few seconds. If you want, you can deactivate this border that we have right here and you can adjust the position of the split screen media, not the actual split screen. This is just exactly in the half, but you can adjust the position of the media. So if you were just do that, then we have the two split screens on one each side. The cool thing with these is that since you have a bunch of different variations, if you have more clips, you can use three, four, five, or even six. And that's only in the free version, right? In the, in the demo version. The demo also has a few animated ones, like that if you drop, then you just have that transition of both elements. If you don't want borders, you can just press zero right here. And then we have that transition of both split screens. Now, I did not add motion blur to these for some reason, but if you wanted to have motion blur in your transition that you did, you just open this infusion right here. And then we're going to go to this transform node right here. That is the one that, no, that's the media transform. This is the animation transform and just turn on the motion blur. Right here, it's in the controls. Okay, it's right here. So we turn that on right there. Now, I'm not sure why it's not showing up right here, but they're all linked to these controls preview right here. So now you have that motion blur there in your split screen transition. What if you wanted to do something that was more like your own style? You can use this animated one and then just go right here to this animation and then just adjust the path. This one is coming from both sides. But if you wanted to, you can make these come from like a little bit lower maybe and then just go to this other one, which is right here. And then adjust the position right here. Now we have the split screens coming from that angle right there. That's basically it. You can create a ton of different variations with these. So go ahead and download the free split screens toolkit that's available with the demo. And with that, it's enough to create a ton of things already. But if you're interested, you can check out also the pro version that has whew, like 500 or more, probably over 500 different split screens. Let me just show you real quick right here. You can see you have the animated ones, a bunch of variations like these. Let me just scroll down. Ooh, you can spend a whole day just testing them. So yeah, make sure to go and check out the website. I'm going to link it in the description so that you can add split screens to your videos in literally seconds. Well, boy, wait, 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 don't leave yet. Now I ended up doing this quick tutorial because I wanted to do another one. I had another one that I've been working on, which is this one. It started raining right now really heavily. Hopefully the, the microphone is not catching the sound of the rain. Now, I decided to build, I decided to make that short split screens tutorial because I was working on this longer version, which is one that basically was inspired by a Cowboy Depot clip that I found on iCandy. As you can see right here, which is this scene right here, where you create a sort of like fourth wall experience maybe or maybe third wall experience when your characters actually just go over the split screens so you have the clip right here like in this little section i have a longer tutorial for these which is like 10 minutes maybe 
but I wasn't completely happy with it yet. So I don't know, should I release the tutorial just like as it is? I was one, I, I wanted to make this a little bit shorter, right? But then it ended up being like 10, 20 minutes of recording already. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you want to see this tutorial on the channel. That's a little bit longer. And then I'll see if I release it as it is right now. All right, that is it for this video.